they're like, oh! They all start singing immediately. It's incredible, man. It's incredible. I'm in Lisbon. I'm in a hostel called Travelers Hostel, and I meet Ja. He's an amazing host. Now I was surprised with the knowledge that he has about India, but particularly Mumbai. So can you uh, say about Mumbai, like things that you know? So I don't know. Um, Mumbai was a, a, an incredible surprise. I mean, uh, I very, I very much felt paradoxically at home because it's very different from my hometown. But at the same time, there was something that would, that, that drew me uh, to that. I made a couple of friends that were very meaningful right in the beginning. And for me, when I travel, people that I meet along the way are extremely important. And so much that after two days, I decided immediately to extend my stay uh, for the triple. I was spending my stay one month, and I stayed for three months. And I I was quite I surprised uh, when you said you know about Chakala, you know about Churchgate, you know about our local trains, you know about Chopati. Like when when you're traveling, like uh, being a, being a traveler, this is the way that, that I see it. Each one to each own. Uh, demanding that adaptation means as well to experience and live a bit of the normality and live a bit of what it is. Uh, to live in a place like that. What was your favorite food in India? Well, I, I have a weak spot for dosas. You know, dosas is uh, wherever I go. My breakfast in India is always dosa uh, with a coconut chutney, and a sambar. It's just uh, that, that makes my day. But I like some other stuff. Uh, I love eating, and I always find that eating is a. Uh, experience within the travel so uh, I will never forget in Juhu on my first week my friend Amit took me there and I was eating Pani Puris that there was no tomorrow I didn't know what Pani Puris were <laughs> I didn't know that Pani was water <laughs> I didn't know that Pani Puri was water and of course they don't use Bisleri for that no they don't use Bisleri for that and I really thought I was gonna get sick but I didn't it was good it yeah, was good any memorable experience you had in uh, your trip in India? Many, many memorable. And I'm, I've, I've, I've met, uh, I was fortunate enough to meet a lot of good people. Uh, my friend Abbas Lakdewala from, from Baikula, meeting him was an uh, incredible experience. I mean, staying in Gujarat in, uh, in the house of some students, it was also really cool. Uh, I was meant to uh, take them out for dinner, but instead we all bought Old Monk and we got drunk. That was, that's what it, what it was. We got like a little house party where I learned a lot of Gujarati songs that I don't remember anymore. But on that day I also met, and I also uh, knew, uh, what, it, what it was it called? Um, Kishore Kumar. <laughs> Kishore Kumar has a song, uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, I don't remember anymore. I have this thing, whenever I meet an Indian person, I always ask, do you know this song? Um, and I failed, I always remember that. I never, the first three words. Uh, and everybody knows it. It is not only in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, in Nepal, in Sri Lanka, the whole Indian subcontinent knows that song. My theory is, Kishore Kumar is way more famous than Michael Jackson. Because <laughs> everybody knows it. That's my theory. I mean, it's incredible. Uh, oh, what's ah, man, what's the name? Is that Inga Minadeka? It's from Aradna. I even bought the record, man. I'm a, I am a like records. And the only record that I bought in my travels was Kishore Kumar. Gina is your name? Hmm? Gina is your name? No, it's not Mere Nakul. No, it's not that one. Mere Sapnokira? Uh, no, I don't remember it. I don't remember it. And uh, I always... Rupa Tera Mastara Yes, it. Everybody knows that song. And the only thing I say, imagine there's a lot of Indian Bangladeshi people here in Lisbon working in you know, convenience stores and stuff like that. Sometimes I get there and I was like, and they're like, oh! They all start singing immediately. It's incredible, man. It's incredible. Seven year old kids, they know it. Eight year old old man, no problem. They all probably knows Kishore Kumar. 
it's quite uh, it's quite awesome. But yeah, many memorable experiences, man. I don't know. It's just uh, uh, I'm meeting also a joint family uh, in Mumbai in the colonies over there, being very well received by them and seeing a completely different reality. Uh, because, well, until they're like three, I don't really know who is mine, which one is mine, because. <laughs> Cousins are embraced like brothers, you know, yeah. and it's a completely different, uh, completely different uh, reality of way of, up, of bringing up people. But there's so much love at the same time, you know. Um, I don't know. I, I had an incredible, incredible experience human-wise, and that's the reason why I keep coming back to Tokyo. Honestly, it's the people. Awesome. So, what is your message for other travelers? For for other travelers, they go to India. Go, <laughs> just go. Huh? It's uh, if you travel to see different things and to experience different things, India is your place. If you love people and you want to be, uh, and if you're respectable, you will love that country. Be open-minded, uh, be open to people, be open to their curiosity, and uh, you will have your curiosity question. Like I think it's uh, uh, it can be an incredible destination. Not always easy, but that's what it is. Traveling is always easy. If you want to do vacation in India, don't go to India. Travel, go to India. Well, thank you so much. No problem. This is a guy who's traveled so much for uh, like across so many places, and he comes with a lot of experience. I value your time. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you as well for the opportunity. Okay, I'm hope you get the guy that go. <laughs> <laughs>